Cookery Show presents Summer Drinks and Cocktails. Before that, though, it's the Butt Naked Chef 30 Second Karaoke. This week's special head guest, Rachel Ray. Man, I love a big cock. It's a whole size thing. Size matters. Oh, yeah. So have fun and sing along to Linja. Cocaine in my brain. I'm going to teach her the right way and the proper way to spell New York, man. Well, go ahead, man. A knife, a fork, a bottle, and a cock. That's the way we spell New York, man. You see, no matter how I treat my guests, they always like my kitchen best. Cause they got cocaine running around my brain. I got cocaine running around my brain. Get your gums around my plums, mojito. Right, I made this one up myself. It's a bit time consuming, but if you want to impress someone special, you know, your partner, your boss, your mates, in-laws, etc., then this cocktail will blow them away, trust me. Okay, the ingredients. Four large or six medium ripe plums per cocktail, red or yellow, it don't matter. A couple of sprigs of fresh mint, crushed ice, and of course, a few shots of white rum. The equipment, a sieve, a bowl, a cold glass, a spoon, a knife, some plastic gloves, and a straw. Wash your plums in cold water, skin and de-stone them. Place the sieve on top of the bowl, put your gloves on, then put the flesh into the sieve, start to squeeze the juice through into the bowl using the spoon. Here's a good tip, pre-juice a few days before and freeze them in ice cube trays. Or like me, I use a silicone muffin tray. Perfect. Right, putting it all together, let's go. If you have a cocktail shaker, you will need an ice cube, your crushed ice, plum juice, fresh chopped mint, two to four shots of white rum, cold large tumbler. Tip the ice cube into the shaker, add the mint, then the plum juice, and then add the rum. Put the lid on and shake it, baby, for about 10 to 15 seconds. Take your cold glass and add the crushed ice to it. Pop the lid off the shaker and pour the contents over the crushed ice. Salted. Add a straw. Right, if you haven't got a cocktail shaker and you ain't got a bag of crushed ice, take a few cubes of ice, wrap it in a tea towel, smack with a baseball bat. Job done. Now pour half the crushed ice into a cold glass. Add the mint and two shots of white rum. Now pour in the plum juice, put in the other half of the crushed ice, add another two shots of white rum. Stir. Now add the straw. Drink. Perfect. Cheers. Gin and tonic or vodka and tonic. Easy to make, but let's make it sexier. All you have to do is add the juice of a lemon. Simple. Or you can do what I do and make lemon juice ice cubes. Get yourself half a dozen lemons, juice them, put them on an ice cube tray, freeze, sorted. Now get yourself a goldfish bowl glass. Add an ice cube, then two of your lemon ice cubes. Pour in a couple of shots of either gin or vodka. Add the tonic, get a slice of lemon, rub it around the rim of the glass, then drop it in. Looks good, tastes great, cheers. Only reason why I grow my own tomato plants. Okay, to make the juice, you will need 20 small cherry tomatoes per cocktail, or five medium ones, or two large ones. Half an onion chopped, white or red, it don't matter. One green chili. Bung all of it into a saucepan and simmer for 25 minutes. Let it cool down, get your blender, and pour the tomato mix into it. Zap it till it becomes a liquid. Grab a sieve and bowl, strain the liquid through it, BAM! You've got your own tomato juice. Stick it in the freezer till it's cold. Okay, making the perfect Bloody Mary. Tip some celery salt onto a plate, get a cold glass tumbler, grab a slice of lime and rub it round the rim. Stick the tumbler into the celery salt, twist a bit until it's covered. Looking good already. Now throw in a couple of ice cubes and a lemon ice cube, add a couple of shots of vodka, then a few splashes of Tabasco, as much as you like. Add a few dashes of Worcester sauce, a slice of lime and three shakes of celery salt. Pour over the tomato juice, stir and add a hot chilli. Not a celery stick, because that ain't going to get rid of your hangover, is it? Pick the glass up, bite the chilli, take a big slurp. Cheers. Another great summer drink is a spritzer. White wine or rosé. Simple to make, gorgeous. Grab yourself a cold glass, bung on an ice cube, fill the glass half up with rosé or white wine, 
then fill the rest up with sparkling water. Perfect. Here's another good tip, using your silicone muffin tray again, make ice cubes with that. Four times the size of a normal ice cube, perfect for a summer's day. Cool, have I just got too much time on my hands or what? Okay, here's tonight's bar philosophy, in the words of the great man himself, Sir Bobby Moore. Win or lose, we're on the booze. Until next time, cheers.